you into a place of true freedom yes. instead of just rearranging the deck chairs on the Titanic. You know, if the world is over and gone or, or the ship's going down, I don't really care where the, the chairs are. And I've gotten to the point where I can see that happiness is everything. So, so it's my job not to judge anything. Even when I went to South America one time to visit a friend and she'd been married for like 32 years and and her husband, who she called the king, uh, had, had found another woman in the country to the north and she was stirred up and the family was like a beehive. And, oh, the children were upset and they were just angry. He was still in the house. And I went down there and they both picked me up and I gave them hugs. Hey, 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 the king. And spent the whole time I was down there, like a week, two weeks, uh, just loving, 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 loving absolutely everyone, letting them express their anger and it was pretty much projected onto one target and everything, but loving everyone equally, no, taking no sides, not even the hint of any wrongdoing there. And finally just sitting down with them and said, listen, from a quantum perspective, everything is a choice. We have to honor the choices that are made because they're all helping us learn to forgive and help us get to a place of non-judgment and, and choices are, are made and we always grow from the choices. We, we're learning to shift our perception and everything but we must be very honoring of everything, not dividing it into right choices and wrong choices. We're here to not judge, we're here to let go of all the judgment and and doing that with everyone, like, like we just were doing with our diets, I was doing that with the daughter, with the son, with everyone I met. And um, it just demonstrates a new way of living, a way where you're just equally loving with everything and everyone, regardless of what's said and done, regardless of the behaviors. That doesn't even interest me either, you know, because there's no, no desire to to blame, to find fault with anyone. And, we, and a lot of times animals are really good with that, you know, they can, they, dogs, cats, they come right back, you know, wagging tails and purring, regardless of what's happening. They're so quick, and they bounce back, they bounce back like that. You know, that's a great example of teachers in that way of how we can be. We can, we can have that same lightheartedness. We don't have to hold on to things into memory. We can let it go, let it go. So it's like, try it, try it on, you like it, you know, it's, it's very, very wonderful and practical to, to have that as your job, as your, as your task of not judging anything at all. Let all things be exactly as they are, it's very relaxing.